Hello friends and welcome back to another episode. This is Rob. Okay, continuing on with uh, deconstructing and deciphering fashion magazine photos. This is another one that I think is absolutely brilliant by the uh, the team who assembled these photos. Okay, this is from March uh, 2016 Vogue magazine. Okay, and this is a four page spread of uh, Ralph Lauren. Okay, so you can see here Two, pa two pages com making one photo and then another two separate photographs that make the entire collection the ensemble here okay so let's talk about this particular shoot here in this sequence okay so the first you can see here the time frame now looks the clothing doesn't all agree with the time frame but you can see this is a sailing vessel right you can see the mast and all the ropes and such but here this is the most critical part center frame our two models here and they're clearly to me this this gentleman here is representing Cary Grant and this gentleman here is representing Randolph Scott okay so they it was rumored you know in the late 20s early th early 30s uh, especially that they were involved in a relationship and you can also if you'll uh, you can search Google uh, Cary Grant Randolph Scott diving board and you'll see like the you'll see a bunch of images where they are very close very intimate probably uh, much closer than than two fellas you know are normally uh, close okay so you can infer from that what you will but this again this gentleman here is supposed to be Cary Grant it's a reference to Cary Grant and this is a reference to Randolph Scott Okay, and the time here again, loosely, the time of the sailing vessel, 1920s and 1930s. Okay, we flip the page, and again, this is where we get into the 20s and 30s. So clearly, these are 20s and 30s images, and we'll cover this, okay? So this is obviously a nice spread here, and you have the uh, changing cabana. This is called the changing cabana. So this is when you had guests over for a swimming party. Right, the guests would go in here and change from their street clothes or, or whatever they were wearing into their uh, their swimming suits. So this is called a little changing tent or a changing cabana, and you can tell here this old-fashioned lounge. This is this is old. This is period. This pool here and this this platform. This is everything in the, this image is period. Okay, except the model. The model really is not period. So this is the 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 standout is the model is not in agreement with the rest of the image really I mean somewhat but not fully and then we come over here and again we can see by the column and the and the the, the floor in her attire this is clearly an indicator of the early 1930s Amelia Earhart flew the Atlantic in the loose fitting almost like jodhpurs or whatever now obviously it's not equestrian but it's aviation so this woman here is representing a, a, um, a tribute to Amelia Earhart the theme of aviation in the late 1920s and early 30s with Charles Lindbergh and Amelia Earhart okay and this again would be a cabana not a changing cabana but this is the cabana a cabana is a an area that would kind of a bridge between the house and the swimming area so when the party is swimming and they just want to take a break it didn't necessarily have to physically adjoin the house but if you wanted to get out of the sun you went into the cabana and sometimes there were refreshments offered or alcohol they would have a bar set up in the cabana and this is where you went to just get out of the sun for a while and just relax okay but again the spirit here with the 1930s aviation everything here is 1920s 1930s 20s and 30s and again, now the clothing is not in agreement with the time frame, but the spirit is 20s and 30s. Now, so so we've established the time frame. The spirit of the shoot is 20s and 30s. But everything, now this is right here. Uh, Cary Grant and Randolph Scott, they rented a place from the silent film star Norma Talmadge in the early uh, 1930s early 40s they were living together okay but Norma Talmadge was big in the 20s and she started to fade when talkies came out she didn't make the transition well to talkies but she was a silent film star now from that Sunset Boulevard the 1950s Billy Wilder film starring William Holden and Gloria Swanson where basically it was a composite so the Norman Desmond is the character in the film, right? Norman Desmond, but it's a, it's it's an amalgam, it's a composite of many of the 
the stars of the silent era who fell into obscurity when talkies came about. Many of them did not make the transition well to talkies, okay? So Norma Desmond isn't solely based on Norma Talmadge, but again, she is one of the characters that the movie is based on as an amalgam or a composite. So all this is reminiscent of uh, Sunset Boulevard, okay? The, the lavish estate, the time period is in agreement, right? And again, in real life, Norman Talmadge rented a beach house to Cary Grant and Randolph Scott. So the, the theme, the overall theme of the shoot is 1920s and 1930s. And it's Norman Talmadge, the silent film star. So it's equal parts, I would say, Norman Talmadge and Sunset Boulevard, the film. And you can Google, you can Google the house, the house. Now this isn't the actual house, but where Cary Grant and Randolph Scott lived in the 30s is at 1038 Palisades Beach Road in Santa Monica. It's almost exactly one mile. So if you find Santa Monica Pier and go to Google Maps, either maps.google.com or you can launch Google Earth. And if you go one mile northwest up the beach, okay, so locate Santa Monica Pier and go exactly just about one mile up the beach and you will find 1038, that's 1038 Palisades Beach Road in Santa Monica. And that's where Cary Grant and Randolph Scott shared that house. And you'll see that, that photo I was telling about on them on the diving board. That's where that photo was taken. And you'll see that uh, from Google Earth and the photo. So you can establish the exact location where that photograph was taken. Okay, but again, the spirit of this shoot is 1920s, 1930s. Equal parts Sunset Boulevard and Norma Talmadge. And the Bachelor Hall, what was loosely called Bachelor Hall, at 1038 Palisades Beach Road in Santa Monica. Okay, thank you.